Please subscribe this Wiki Tech channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Hi everyone, this is Jason from Wiki Tech. Hi guys, in this video, let's check out how to upgrade your system with SSD. So in this video, I was using the Dell system. So keep in mind the process was same in every system, not only Dell. Uh, to, to, uh, I was using here Samsung 860U SSD so because with the help of this SSD we can make the system more faster when compared to the previous but whereas this system already comes with 1 TB HDD now I want to upgrade to SSD keep in mind at the back side we have seen there was just screws the particular disk screws whatever showing on the video does not come they will stick to the back panel but whereas the remaining all the screws will come out but these three screws at the top side back won't come to the panel so for that we need to make the screw very loose as much as we can do keep in mind we need a star screw drive and also i was providing in the a link, link in the description you guys purchase the laptop to link it so as a toll i have free the screw as best and here is also one more screw again we are we also need to do free this screw as best as we can so these three screws won't come outside they will just stick to the panel and also the reason for upgrading ssd when compared to hdd in ssd we see the read and write speed was very good which means you can open application with, fraction, with very less time when compared to HDD. Now guys, I have do the middle screw uh, loose. Now it's time to lose the, the third screw at the back panel. So again, this screw also we need to lose as much as we can. And also when compared to HDD hard disk, SSD is uh, expensive but it's worth because of read and write speed. So guys, as I told you, the remaining screws will come outside. So you can happily remove those screws and put in a cup so you won't lost the screw. And also we need to fix those screws again after finishing the work. Whatever the laptop you are using, whether it is HP, Lenovo, Asus, uh, any brand is not mandatory. The installation process was common. But keep in mind whether your laptop is eligible for SSD upgradation or not. By default, this Dell laptop I was using comes with 1 TB HDD drive. But I want to add SSD and I want to make SSD as a booting device. So I can able to open the applications and I can increase the system speed with the help of this SSD. So you guys can check out if you are doing it first time don't be rush and hurry do it with a peaceful mind i have removed all the screws as i told these three screws won't come to the panel now it's time to lift the panel back base back cover like this see i was using the little pressure on all the sides i was trying to free all the edges i was trying to make the space between the back cover and the keyboard area so I was trying my best so you guys also do it like in a gentle way don't be hurry once if I free anything then that's it guys here we go you can see we have successfully removed the back cover and the internal components looks like this so the, here is the area where we need to add SSD so I was going to add SSD on that spot so I have purchased the Samsung 860 EVO so his cost is around 7000 rupees but right now it was available at 6000 nearly but it's a two it comes with 250 gp ssd so let's open the box and let's do the process by installing the ssd and you have seen that it comes with five years limited warranty also so it's time to open the box here we go here is the Samsung 860 EVO SSD. It comes with 250 capacity. So I was going to add it and I was going to make it as a bootable device. So hence, I can increase my system. I can open any application as fast as, fast as I can. So here is the chip. Please keep in mind if you are upgrading SSD, first thing when you disconnect the plug off to the battery and also we need to disconnect the battery from the laptop just like this what is shown in the picture it is very important to avoid unnecessary damage to the hardware components 
and here is the place where we need to add SSD. So in some laptops, they are already giving the screw. Mostly they give the screws, but some laptops, they won't get the screw. At that time, you need to purchase the screw because we need to remove this screw. And after removing the screw, we need to plug the SSD in that socket. See the SSD at the front side, there was a five pins and a six pins on the other end. So we need to gently put it inside and also don't do it in hurriedly, just do it in a very smooth way. Otherwise it will damage the SSD components. So here like this as shown in the video, you just need to pull it uh, inside with a little pressure. So after the, if it fits, if it fits perfectly in that socket, then you need to bring the screw back into the position and you need to tighten the screw but don't keep in mind don't tighten too much just do it in a gentle way is enough after you fix the screw then you have finished that you have added the ssd successfully into that socket so it looks like this and also guys you can check it here now it's time to put your battery plug into the socket motherboard socket again because we have successfully placed the SSD. Now we, we need to plug in the battery as usual gently like this. Now after plugging the battery flag and also upgrading the SSD successfully into that socket. Now check all the components and after that we need to put the back base cover as usual into the system like this. And also once you place it perfectly then you need to apply pressure then it will sit in the back panel sit into the laptop components and it will be good just apply the little pressure then it will be sit perfectly and also keep in mind guys uh, whether you purchasing SSD just check your manufacturer whether the SSD is M.2 or even NVMe because there are two types of SSD one is M.2 and other one is NVMe PCIe slots SSD. So M.2 is the old version. Advanced version is NVMe PCIe slot was. I mean PCIe SSD was advanced than M.2. So purchasing before at SSD is better to check with your manufacturer. And also we need to know whether how much capacity the laptop will eligible to take the SSD. Whereas some laptops only able to take 250, whereas some laptops can able to take 500 GB SSD, or some laptops can able to take 2 TB SSD as also. So better to check with your manufacturer which type of SSD means M.2 or NVMe, which type of SSD is eligible and how much capacity it can able to take. So based on that you guys can purchase in online or even the offline stores. So as I told you I have fitted the back cover. Now see the screws I was making to fit tight as best as we can. Now it's time to fix this screw. These three screws won't come outside I already told. So that's why they just stick to the panel. Now I was going to tight all the screws guys. So you also need to tight all the screws like this gentle way. When we are doing this process by ourselves at the first time we get little bit of tension. But don't be worried. By doing like this you won't avoid your warranty. We can do it ourselves if we know how to do. Otherwise you can go to the service center and you guys take help from the service team means those guys can do the stuff for you so now it's time to put all the remaining screws like this make sure whether you put all the screws into the span into the sockets and also just make it tight as best as you can and also do it in a gentle way and for this stuff as i told you you need a star type screwdriver then only you can do all the stuff but keep in mind without fitting the back base cover it's a better not to open the lid from the keyboard back panel because it may be damaged but in many cases it won't damage until you finish the setup it's better not to open the laptop screen 
and also make sure we need to tight all the screws as shown in this video in this video footage and also guys I have a small request and uh, this is the new channel if it is possible please subscribe our channel and tap on the bell icon to receive the latest notifications and also guys as I told the process was the same installation process any brand whatever it may be it's a very common and same process but make sure which type of SSD is suitable for your laptop and also how much capacity hard disk I mean hard disk means how much capacity SSD it can able to take that's it these two, two things we need to know from the manufacturer or even you, you can search maybe by typing your laptop memory then you can get the answers anyhow guys thank you very much for spending your valuable time with me as you very soon take care all the best